High visibility enforcement, commonly referred to as HVE, is a traffic safety approach designed to promote voluntary compliance and change unlawful or unsafe traffic behaviors. HVE combines a publicity strategy and highly visible and proactive law enforcement targeting a specific traffic safety issue to educate the public and promote voluntary compliance with the law. There are three main pillars of an HVE campaign. Publicity is used to tell the public that the law is being actively enforced as well as increase the public's perception they will be caught. This is achieved through earned media, such as press releases, letters to the editor, social media, and sometimes paid media, and that includes TV, radio, and outdoor. Make sure the public sees the law being enforced. Some examples of methods to increase enforcement's visibility are portable signage, BAT or Batmobiles, electronic message signs, etc. Enforcement should increase to ensure the public sees higher levels of enforcement activity. The site selected for enforcement should be active, visible, and data-driven. The purpose of high visibility enforcement is to promote voluntary compliance by increasing the perceived risk of arrest. Research has shown that an effective way to reduce non-compliance of traffic laws is to increase the perceived risk of being stopped or arrested by law enforcement. One of the most successful strategies for doing this is the coupling of intense and highly visible enforcement with publicity about the enforcement campaign. The objective is to convince the target audience to adhere to specific traffic laws. For example, the target audience for the Click It or Ticket mobilization is men ages 18 to 34. HVE requires a proper balance of enforcement activity and publicity. With the proper balance, there is a heightened awareness and perceived risk of arrest and punishment which leads to greater compliance with traffic laws and fewer fatalities and injuries. 53% of all passenger occupants killed from 2007 to 2011 were unbuckled. Seat belt laws are enforced regularly across the country along with many other traffic safety laws. However, during routine enforcement activity, Often, the only person who knows that seatbelt laws are being enforced is the person receiving the ticket. Active, coordinated, highly publicized, and visible enforcement campaigns send a strong message that everyone must be buckled up. It also enhances the perceived importance of seatbelt usage and in turn leads to greater compliance. From mid-May through early June, NHTSA buys national media such as television, radio, and online and conducts a kickoff event to publicize the increased enforcement of seatbelt laws across the country. Law enforcement is asked to conduct high visibility enforcement day and night during this time period. With your help, we can turn thousands of lives lost into many more lives saved to increase seatbelt use to save lives. Impaired driving remains a serious public safety threat, claiming nearly 10,000 lives on our roadways every year. Each year, about one-third, 31% of all roadway fatalities occur in alcohol-impaired driving crashes. One of the most effective ways we know of to get the public's attention is through the crackdown. Increasing drunk driving enforcement in the final weeks of the summer through the Labor Day holiday weekend and again, over the December holidays, NHTSA's annual Drive Sober Get Pulled Over crackdowns are focused on reducing the tragic toll caused by impaired drivers every year. The efforts involve more than 10,000 law enforcement agencies across the nation who redouble their efforts during this period. Coinciding with enforcement efforts in communities nationwide, NHTSA will air advertisements the ads convey the message that law enforcement officers are increasing their efforts to arrest drunk drivers. Law enforcement is asked to conduct high visibility enforcement during these time periods. With your help, we can turn thousands of lives lost into many more lives saved. Demonstration projects are conducted to evaluate new HVE campaigns at a local 
or community level in order to test the effectiveness before conducting the project on a much larger scale. Most recently, NHTSA has conducted HVE demonstration projects for distracted driving and combined messaging, which is combined enforcement of seatbelt, impaired driving, speeding, and distracted driving laws. The results from these projects will be shared to assist other states and communities working to address these same issues. The intensity of an HVE campaign includes enforcement activities over and above what would normally take place in a community, including increased participation of law enforcement agencies during the enforcement period, increased participation of police officers, and increased number of hours dedicated to the enforcement efforts. NHTSA conducts three campaigns throughout the year one for seatbelt enforcement, and two for impaired driving enforcement. We recommend that states look at their data and decide when they should conduct additional campaigns during the year. Visibility means that the police officer is seen by the motoring public enforcing the law. Here are examples of tools that are being used to increase visibility. Portable signage, specially marked vest, electronic message boards, sobriety checkpoints. In addition, the HVE concept incorporates strategies such as enhanced patrols and using visibility elements designed to make enforcement efforts obvious to the public. In addition, we mail out letters to law enforcement agencies who we don't have grants with, encouraging them to participate in HVE. The letter is signed by myself, the CHP commissioner, and our NHTSA Regional Administrator. These efforts have really gone a long ways to getting local law enforcement to participate in our HVE campaigns. Paid and earned media campaigns help to increase visibility. The goal of HVE is to make the motoring public aware of enforcement efforts and create a perception of increased risk among the driving public of being caught for impaired driving or not wearing a seatbelt. When the perceived risk of getting caught by law enforcement goes up, the likelihood that people will engage in unsafe driving behaviors goes down. How do we know our Click It or Ticket HVE efforts are working? Up to 72% of Californians surveyed said the chances of being stopped for not wearing a seatbelt have changed since Click It or Ticket came to California. High visibility enforcement should be conducted in locations that are chosen based on crash data specific to an offense. For example, seatbelt and impaired driving. Enforcement should be in areas that are easily visible to the motoring public and where data specifically indicate enforcement is needed due to crashes. Using geomapping or other problem identification tools to identify hotspots, which are areas of high crash locations, will help you target where your enforcement can reduce crashes and traffic violations. Choosing a location that is a high volume traffic area will assist with the visibility of your enforcement efforts. People will see law enforcement out enforcing traffic safety laws. This helps promote voluntary compliance and change unlawful traffic behaviors. Paid media refers to publicity gained through advertising you pay for, such as print, television, and social media. Earned media refers specifically to publicity gained through editorial influence, coverage not paid for. Unlike paid advertising, earned media coverage often carries more weight and credibility in the minds of consumers because the information is delivered and received through the recognized filter of a credible third-party organization, such as a newspaper, television, or radio station. But earned media is not free. Significant effort, 
persistence, and follow-up are required to successfully generate and sustain coverage. Earned media is publicity gained through promotional efforts other than paid advertising. It refers specifically to publicity gained through editorial influence in media outlets such as newspaper, television, radio, and the internet. And it may include a variety of formats such as news articles or shows, letters to the editor, editorials, television, and the internet. Having a kickoff event to inform the public that law enforcement officers are cracking down on a specific offense over a specific period helps to generate the publicity needed. There are many types of earned media that can be conducted to generate publicity and increase visibility. A news release is simply your short story written up in a journalistic form. To generate an attention-getting release that will stand out from the hundreds of others editors see daily, make sure it always covers the journalist's five W's, who, what, when, where, why, and whenever possible, the how as well. Be sure to cover all essential facts, but keep your releases simple and succinct. Unlike more fully developed news releases, media advisories are sent out in advance of events and press conferences to provide just enough information about the five W's to invite and encourage press attendance and coverage at the event. Consider a news conference to announce important events, results, or achievements. Arrange a press conference only when your news is of significant importance, likely to generate sufficient media interest, or is visually interesting, resulting in better television coverage. The goal of a press conference is to bring all of the key players together to publicize your announcement, to share dramatic visuals, and to deal with any questions for follow-up at the same time. Another very effective way to generate press interest about key initiatives and announcements is to submit a guest editorial commentary, or letter to the editor to newspapers for publication. Note, these typically need to be directed to the newspaper's opinion page editor and not the standard news reporters you may usually deal with. Strong op-ed pieces or letters to the editor need to be informal, persuasive, and entertaining, but most importantly, succinct and to the point. Determine who will sign your op-eds and your letters in advance. Distribute to the press at least one to two weeks in advance of your event or the start of your campaign, and then follow up with the appropriate editor to secure placement. Inviting members of the media in for one-on-one -on -one interviews, going to a newspaper for a desk side briefing of a top reporter or with an entire editorial board for example, a group interview with perhaps a number of editors and reporters, or scheduling a local TV or radio talk show interview can be very effective ways of explaining and promoting more complex announcements, trends, or stories. Think through the real news angle of your message by putting yourself in the minds of the media outlets, readers, viewers, or listeners. Even if the questioner tends to stray, Try to reinterpret any difficult or off-the-wall questions to get your point across. The news media love to share human interest stories with their audiences. Tastefully and sensitively work with law enforcement and emergency response officials who are working on the front lines, as well as the family members of crash victims or highlighting lessons learned by crash survivors all represent powerful human interest perspectives important to the news media. Social media is a broad term that refers to a variety of digital communication techniques used for networking and social interaction, such as Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, LinkedIn, Pinterest, or Google+. The importance of these online channels for getting out your message cannot be overstated as they represent a sea change in how people consume media and interact with brands. 
NHTSA has developed a robust website for states and local partners where they can find all materials necessary to conduct an HVE campaign. In addition, NHTSA offers retagging of PSAs produced where states can add their logos for local media campaigns. States need to notify their NHTSA regional office if they want any of the PSAs retagged with their logo.